If you went to bed one night and you found a stranger under the covers, what would you say? Option one, sure, you can stay, no night. Option two, get on, get the shotgun. And option three, let's have a long-winded debate, sift through a ton of legal documents, make a ton of calls, and find out if we can work out a way where we can both share the bed. If you answered option two, then you're in the right place. If you answered one or three, then you're a bit odd. And that's precisely the problem here, time. You see, we spent a ton of time looking at the music laws on YouTube, and it has suddenly occurred to us that the time it takes to find out if you can or cannot use a famous song or someone else's work in your videos means it just isn't worth using. There's so much conflicting advice out there, it's impossible to know what to trust. Some of the videos I came across even admitted they might be wrong. Thanks for that. At the end of the day, the worst thing that can happen is you get a copyright strike, lose your channel, or worse, get sued. What's most likely to happen is, if you use copyrighted music registered in the Content ID system, is the copywriter will mute your video, block your video, or penalise your channel, or monetize your video so they get all the ad revenue, which if you've gone viral will hurt. If you want a simplified version of music laws to abide by on YouTube, then here it is. It's the exact approach we're going to take ourselves. Can you use 30 seconds of any song without permission? No. Can you use 5 seconds of any song without permission? No. Can you use 1 second of any song without permission? No. Can you use any music you don't have permission to use? No. Can you remake a cover of the song and then use that? No. Can you speed up the song or edit it so that it's your own creation? No. Can you ask for the creator's permission? Yes. Can you ask the record label for permission? Yes. Can you ask everyone who is involved with the creation of the music for permission? Yes. Will they give it to you? Probably not. Why would they? Unless it's likely to benefit them. Will the Content ID system take down a song in the system even with permission? Yes, because it doesn't know. So there's still more work to do. Is it worth the time and effort? Not really. Dig deep enough and you might find a loophole or another way to get around these, but personally, who's got the energy to do that when you've got a YouTube channel to build? If you want to learn how to use music in your videos, then watch this video here, and check out this playlist here with more info on music, copyright, and other places you can get tracks from. We'll be adding to it over time. Oh, and it would be rude not to ask you to subscribe.